Mr. Dabo Rastabo Kikenen, for those of you who have done a D-Day 420, you'll recognize this dude because he is like a right-hand man. When shit goes down at D-Day, this is the main man of the ground crew and he's done more flyer runs than anybody in the country, this guy. Tabo, welcome to the show, bro. It's great to see your face. Bless up, my elder. Greetings, everybody. Nice one, my brother. How you doing, man? So, all is well, family, and I trust all is well, yeah? All is well. Well, I don't know, Tabo, you maybe heard my story now, me going to Rivonia to, to do some, to drop some shopping to somebody who can't drive, and, uh... There was a whole bunch of big cars outside the local um, Woolworths picking up all their supplies. Is the same going on in Soweto? Are there many people on the street? Is it business yeah. as usual? Yeah, there are people out. Not many people, though. A lot are still locked up. But, like, I'd say street vendors, there aren't any street vendors. But at the malls, uh, hey, it's, the malls are packed. The malls are packed. So now, <laughs> so now all of those big players in the malls who can afford the rent, all of the national corporations are, uh, are getting some sort of money in and all the street traders have gone away. They're the, they're the hardest hit, yeah? Exactly. And I was checking a story today uh, where vendors were offered permits, but when they went to get the permits, the cops chased them away. So the cops are becoming an issue for everybody, I think, Tabo. It's like the, it's like the virus has turned the cops into monsters. They, they can, it's like they can do anything they want now. How's it going in Soweto with the cops? Because you and I, we've done the cops in Soweto. We've done the Soweto march and we've done that kind of jaw. And we know the cops are miserable about stuff. But now they've got this big excuse. How's it going there with the cops? Yeah, this side, I'd say it's not much. They haven't been passing much. I haven't seen a single soldier yet. Really? Um, on this side, like, they just, just normal routine, normal patrol, nothing much. You still have guys chilling at the corner, and you see things like that. But is there, is there still a ganja trade? You know, our, our, um, our poll for tonight is... Um, how do you get? How are you getting your weed on lockdown? Are you getting it on online on WhatsApp, or are you doing it in person, or you've got lank dank? How's it going with with the weed industry in Soweto? Has that come to a standstill as well? I've been interacting with a few people that are dealing, so business is actually good this side because you even have people who are bulk buying, uh, so just so that they can stay locked up and stuff. So. I think the dealers of the side are actually making a good business at this time. Because now even they actually operating at certain hours, not just any time during the day, like early in the morning and late at night. Okay, okay. And are the and the prices have stayed the same. Yeah, some have uh, raised the prices, some have lowered the prices and some prices are still the same. Were you, were you listening to our conversation about cigarettes earlier? Did you hear the talk? Yeah, yeah. So how much, how much are cigarettes in yeah. Soweto now? There must be a hell of a trade going on in Soweto for ciggies now. Yeah, cigarettes has gone very high. It's gone very up. It's gone up a lot. Um, it's a huge commodity now in the hood. Because now cotton goes for like 700 to 800. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Single cigarette you get for like five rand each. Yes, it's from two rand fifty so like to five rand. Who you know. That's incredible. Wow. That is not cool. <laughs> no, it's hectic. So people it's are available. switching to, to the cheaper cigarettes, like your Savannah's. But then okay. even those cheaper cigarettes, the prices have gone up, like from one rand to two rand fifty, three rand. So now it's cheaper to buy, it's, it's, it's legal to smoke weed in your house and it's cheaper than having tobacco in your house. Have, did you ever think you'd see the day, Tabo? Do you ever think you'd ever be in a world like that? Currency is sweet. As is, I'm living the dream actually right now. <laughs> I'm actually happy because, because now I, I'd say with people stopping tobacco, people are actually switching to more cannabis. 
especially those people who mix their uh, cannabis, they prefer now to smoke dry, dry cannabis without any tobacco. So it's actually working in a good way. That's really interesting. Changing yes. people's habits all the time. And and what sort of, what is what is the weed in Soweto? Is a lot of people harvesting? Are people growing there, or is it all coming from Swazi still? I'd say most of it is coming from Swaziland. Yeah, because the people decide they still have fear with growing. Eh? They scared of the cops too much. Yeah. And like now the yards the the are okay. too small. They plant maybe one plant. And you see, like, shit like that. So, because of everybody being so close together, nobody's really growing because there's nowhere private. Yeah, it's only a few that are growing. It's like those people who are always on social media, people who are exposed to cannabis. Yeah. Well, like other people who just buying. Well, I tell you what, my brother, everybody in this crew, you know, we're absolutely blessed that we've all got a back garden. All of us. Just a simple thing, like a back garden yeah. with a fence, and we can well, we can all grow some weed, and yeah. nobody can see it, and we can cure it, and we've got another few months of weed, and we're not going to run out, so we know how blessed we are. So, I don't know, we've got some, we've got photographs in a loop um, within the system here. We were going to talk about the cops, because the cops are doing a whole bunch of foot patrols around the, the, the locations and the townships, and if they're coming across some weed, they're just going to pull it out anyway, because... They're just assholes like that. It's terrible. It was a whole...